Hello there, YouTube, and welcome to another match day for FIFA 12. Now, you can see that I've sort of left you out of the picture here for a while. And, uh, basically, a lot happened to me in FIFA. All you need to know is that now my record doesn't look as attractive as it once used to look. Uh, and that is because I made it to tier 1 eventually. And then I fell back all the way down to tier 5. Like, I don't know what was the problem. I kept losing. And, like, I kept getting, like, these bullshit penalties against me and stuff. Um, but I made it back to tier 1 after being relegated all the way down to tier 5 from tier 1. So that's the four relegations there. But I am back into tier 1. I've been here for a couple of seasons now. And you can see that I've reached a 4.5 star uh, kind of thing. So that's kind of good. Today I'm going to rock Man United and the reason I want to do Man United is I want to show you a cool tactic that I've been running. I've been playing with this um, peculiar 4-3-2-1 formation here and uh, it's really cool with Man United's players. Um, this is after the update, uh, if some of you know about the update. I basically roll with Rafael, Vidic, Ferdinand and Evra on the left side there. And then in the middle here, this player doesn't really need to have speed, he needs to have vision, and that's why I rock Palsy. Paul Scholes, who came back from retirement to help Man United. Uh, Giggs also plays, and I place Giggs over here next to Rooney. And then I have Hernandez at the top. And I play with Anderson, Berbatov, and Valencia as subs. So Ashley Young and Nani on these uh, wings and you'll see that these guys dip into the middle quite a lot. Giggs and Rooney here at the top there you can see uh, they both have a rather uh, high ball control skill 87 and 88 which is what my top midfield needs to have and then uh, Javier Chicharito Hernandez he has the speed and he's a poacher which is excellent so I usually sub Anderson and Valencia and Berbatov into the match. Start with De Gea. And uh, here we go, tier 1 match. And today I'm going to showcase a new form of defending that I've been trying out. And it, uh, some may argue that, you know, it's kind of cheap. Uh, some may argue that, you know, it's not particularly player controlled. Uh, but in my personal opinion, you need to defend like this in higher tier matches. Otherwise, uh, you know, if you just control one player, you simply cannot dominate your own defense. So uh, here we go. And basically the way you control this uh, defending tactic is you always try to control the man who is at the back. So uh, control the person at the back, not the person at the front. And uh, hopefully he'll you understand what I mean. So it looks like we're playing against uh, Juventus today. So I'm going to set it to attacking and team press, and now you'll see uh, the type of defending I'm talking about. I'm going to be controlling Paul Scholes here, and then once he gets the ball, I'm going to be always going to the middle with my player. And you can see that way uh, the, 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 the AI positioning uh, has, uh, you know, good space. Ooh, the ball. So again, look how I'm going to control with Rafael. I'll leave the front defending to my AI, and I move my back player forward. So this formation, the cool thing about it, wow, he's, he's defending really well. So again, see, I'll leave that front defending to the AI, because the AI does a good job. Play, oh, that was close. And looks like my opponent is doing something similar here. And that's an offside. So the reason why you do this is you want to uh, protect those cutting passes at the end. Uh, when you're looking at the front, uh, when you're trying to defend from the front, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm passing the ball horribly. All right, so let's see. Let me try to focus here. There's Paul Scholes. Switch the play over again. And you can see the good thing about this formation is that you have plenty of space for almost all of your players. 
it's sort of very low stress kind of formation. Uh, there's not much uh, pressure quickly. happening, but that is another uh, the main pass. problem. Break up the attack. And see, the passing possession. like that, he gets the ball to the front, but like usually if I was controlling my front defender, I'd be having problems. But again, I'm going to keep switching here. Tag him. Oh no. Oh. Another risk of this is that he can do something like that. You know, he can. Uh, he can have his player. That's a decent challenge by the opponent. Here we go. Look at this. They're opening them up with this oh, pass. wow. Well, that was too much like power that. there. Oops. Let's see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I brought in the defender from the back, and that allowed me to do much. And I'm waiting for Hernandez to come back from the run. Oh. Try and maximize the possibilities here of getting uh -huh. the biggest crowds in the country. Little cheekiness there by my opponent. You can see here I'm covering the middle with gigs. Once he takes it to the side again, I push that uh, right back and look. Oh, he, I can't believe that made it through. Good forward play. Some forceful defending from Ferdinand. Got the chase. Seen the chance. Oof. Just one. That was dangerous. So again, this is really high level kind of play. You don't want your opponent to sort of, uh, uh, you don't want to do stuff like that. Break the ball back with Ashley Young, plays it to Rooney, this could be it. Gonna play it over there to the wide man, Oh, That was ridiculous. And look what I'm doing with Vidic here. Look what I'm doing with Vidic. See, I'm closing down the space so that my opponent can't really make the pass. And then the AI just does its job and pushes the ball forward. Again, see? You want to intersect the pass. You want to close the pass off to, for the pass. And here comes the here comes the break. Played over to Hernandez. Chicharito. Ah, I meant it to Ashley Young, not to Paul Scholes. Now my center in the midfield is sort of. Very good defending because the pass was a threatening one. And again. Careful defending here, you gotta be. See, you're gonna force your opponent to make that kind of mistake. Here comes Chicharito Hernandez. Can I do it? Can I do it? Yes! Goal! First goal of the day, Chicharito Hernandez. That is 1 0. So that's what I'm talking about there. You close the defense and you go on the break and you get the goal. You can see here, I took my time, timed it well, and just finesse shot, slide it right past Buffon. And there's the one up. So here we go, 1-0 against UV. And now my opponent looks like he's going to bring the ball back. I think he's noticed the kind of defending that I'm doing. And now you can see he's trying to pull me forward, because uh, my defending is very aggressive. He's going to try to play it again. And look. See, look how I'm going to cover with Ferdinand there and let Rafael do the job. Here's Wayne Rooney again to Nani, played in the middle to Paul Scholes. Going to call Giggs for the run and look at Ashley Young, he's making the run as well. Ah, excellent cutting. He's going to play it to the wing, I got to cover the wing. You can see here, again, use the AI. Tap that R1 button. The AI will do work for you. Oh, it's an offside. That, that could have been. Look at that. Oh, that could have been a dangerous break. Again, close that middle space. See, once I force my opponent. Again, see, pushing forward, trying to get that block, and you can just block more space that way you have almost direct control of how your defense functions um, oof, how did he get that Arturo Vida. no referee does that deliberately although they'd like to I think to have a few touches of the ball Ryan Giggs is pass intercepted force my opponent to go out to the wing and you can see here pushing with Nani but you got a cover with another player you can't leave open positions uh, with this kind of formation that's the that's the risk Gonna just just bully him off the ball here. Nani. Try to keep control, but he's gonna defend well. Going with pass. And he's gonna try to make it here. Oh! Fabulous. Fabulous. So that was that was powerful. 
That was powerful play, and you can see the main mistake there. Watch Vidic. I delayed the run. I should have slide tackled a little bit earlier, but there's the 1-1. One -one. He scored the equalizer. You can see my opponent. Here's Chicharito trying to make it through. The Juventus have a very, very sturdy defense. All their players are quite aggressive. Ooh, that's some great play. ball back to the side now the power of Manchester United is obviously the use of their younger of their wingers uh, you've got speed you've got pace and you've got a really really fast spirited player your main striker and you can see I only actually have a one shot here and I don't have the possession this isn't you know tier 8 anymore where I can just outplay people left and right this is tough kind of game you can see my opponent is keeping good possession Ooh, he barely makes that pass. Oh, beautiful. Terrific vision. But Rafael is quick. Gonna be able to take that one. And you know what? I'm gonna start trying to keep the ball a little bit longer. Here's Paul Scholes. You can see my opponent again trying to block the pass, sort of like what I'm doing. Read the pass well. And he has so succeeded. Haller to check it. Oh, this could be it. Could be it. Let's go. Gamble ah. On the direction of that pass and cut it out. Marquisio. Arturo Vida. Marquisio. Nani. Ah. Good anticipation for the interception. Keeping the move going. Excellent defensive tackle. Go Skulls, go! You fat old fuck! <laughs> Licksteiner. Ah. Rooney able to intercept. Come on, Ashley Young, you can make it, you can take it, you can take it. Ah. Damn. That's a 1 1. For Juventus. This could be risky. Chiellini. See what I'm doing here in the middle, blocking with Chicarito. Juventus and, uh, will get the throw. He just passes Not the ball to me well there. Thank you, I guess. They've lost the ball. And Rooney! Oh. Rooney chancing his arm, chancing his foot from long way out. The goalkeeper able to deny him the goal. Oh, that was a bad header. Offside, offside, offside. And it is offside here. All right, so now we're probably somewhere near the 70th minute. No, we're still in the 60th. I'm gonna look at, gonna play it over there to my winger. Look at that! Oh, beautiful. Let's try the header. Here it is. Oof. So when it's 70 and I haven't made any progress, I'll usually bring on the faster players uh, in place of, uh, you know, skulls and gigs. Passing it well here. And now look what I'm going to do here. I'm going to switch. Oh, oh no, Rafael. Oh, holy crap. Alright. So I'll uh, wait Martin. just a little bit. And do my first substitute of the day. Oof. Oh, golazo! <laughs> that was a cutting through ball. That, look at that timing. Wait, wait, bam. And then one touch, Nani. He doesn't need more. He can just get a one touch. And that's it. Now I'm going to try to not concede here. All right, now I pause the game and I bring on the more aggressive sort of younger edge to this uh, formation Giggs goes out Valencia replaces Nani's position on the wing and Nani takes a central attacking midfielder kind of role um, I'm gonna keep Hernandez here and I'm also going to uh, switch my play style to the defensive play style and this basically means that my defensive back line my back four they're gonna now uh, not push as much forward 
So I'm going to be pressing my opponent sort of less, uh, but uh, I am going to be able to go more on the break here. So here is Ashley Young, plays it to Nani, Chicharito, space. I need the ball to go out here. Uh, oh, look at that ball, holy crap! Come on, Evra! Just clear it, just clear it. Yes! Manchester United have won the ball back here. No! Good covering, great covering. Otherwise, they'd have been a goal. Come on, come on, come on, get the ball out. Attacking now, Juventus. Nice. Strong challenge. Nemanja Vidic. No, this time. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, that Buffon. It's like I'm not going to be able to get my sub here. Nani. Ah, more power. Possession here. And you can see now the game sort of getting tough, but my opponent actually giving the ball the away. Uh-oh. Watch what I'm doing with the ditch. You know, now it's time to keep the ball and switch to ultra-defensive. And now you just try to waste the remaining time by playing the ball around here and you can see the opponent it's gonna oh Ashley Young has lost it here. Uh oh and the build up watch with Ferdinand and again let the AI do that covering for you because the AI does it well oopsie Arturo Vida. Very good. controlling that back defender when is key for a moment that could and I'm just gonna now Oh. Last three minutes of the match. Great covering by Paul Scholes. I'm calling for Nani to make the run, but I'm not going to actually commit to passing. I'm going to keep the ball at the last minute. Here's Rooney. Take the shot. Oh! Good distance from the header. Arturo Vidal. Oh, look at this. That's dealt with the problem. One minute left. Play to Nani. Ashley Young. No, 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 no. Uh oh. There it is. Game 2 1. <laughs> that was a close match. That was what you can expect in Tier 1. You can see there, I sort of turned the game around in terms of possession and shots on target. Sort of took control. I never got to make my subs. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll be trying to do more of these in the future. Remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.